our two chefs will have two days to perfectly replicate the Domino's cheesy crust loaded pepperoni pizza. First up, we have young gun Laura Sherrard, Adelaide's princess of pasta, who has not one, but two restaurants under her belt at the tender age of 26. I own Nogatsu Bar and Dining Room and Nido Bar and Pasta. Our focus is on fresh pastas. Like an octopus of pasta. <laughs> Laura has been the perennial bridesmaid of MasterChef, having competed in it and been runner-up in it twice. This is not my first rodeo. I have been in a few cooking competitions before, where coming second is definitely my forte. Money, money, give me some. Fingers crossed that the Snack Masters trophy is all mine. Her opponent is Adelaide Cooking Royalty, who's been working in Michelin-starred restaurants since before Laura could even walk. Kamsky. My name is Duncan Velkomutz. I'm chef patron of Africola. I've not lost a cooking competition once, ever. And those aren't TV competitions. His are the professional chef variety. Our approach to cooking at Africola is defined by smoke, fire and ash. We cook African-ish food that we've learned through French cuisine. I'm an extremely competitive chef. I would love Africola to win the series. We are famous for our snacks, so I'm pretty confident we'll smash the competition. I want to win the competition. Let's go. This young gun and master have the same burning ambition. But only one can go forward to raise the trophy for Adelaide. Which snack I prefer, sweet or savoury? Honestly, I actually just don't know. Da, da, da. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Straight down here, thank you, sir. Oh, gosh. Dunk, you want to do the honours? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my God. It's Domino's Pizza. I did not expect a whole meal. I was expecting a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Chefs are known for late night pizzas, right? Nice. Two Italians making pizza. What could go wrong? Yeah. Oh, is it stuffed crust? Is it, it is. Oh, oh, nice. That's good. So you're making a cheesy crust loaded pepperoni pizza, mate? It looks simple, but there's some complexities to this, really, isn't it? It's all about recreating classic Domino's pepperoni pizza, not your interpretation of it. Do you want to know who your competitor is? Yeah. Absolutely. He is a famous Adelaide chef Ooh. with a very big personality. Yep. He loves to cook in open fire. He's well known for his take on modern South African. Duncan. Duncan Wilson. <laughs> Harder. Oh, that is hilarious. She's born and bred Adelaide girl. OK. Known as the Princess of Pasta. At the age of 26, she's got two restaurants in Adelaide. That'll be a Laura Sherrard. Oh, oh, there yeah. we go, it is! Perfect, we'll smash it. You'll smash it. <laughs> I think Duncan will nail it. He's very confident, he's a very good chef. Now, neither Laura or Duncan have cooked on these conveyor belt ovens, but these are the ones they use in the Domino's stores. Having never used this oven before, at the moment, I'm just trying to figure out what my settings are. I'm happy with my dough, I'm happy with my sauce. I reckon the ingredients are 99% there, but the biggest thing, it's the cook. Now, what we have to do is find out what the actual exact temperature for top, bottom, and the exact speed, because that's make or break. This is the test that's going to tell us everything. The pizza, I think, needs to go a little bit hotter in the bottom and a little bit slower. Every oven in every kitchen is a little bit different. And I can tell you right now, this conveyor belt is so different. Mine's moving really slow, Duncan. Can I borrow your oven? <laughs> Can I actually? Yeah. Great. Oh, man. Your plates are nice. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. These two started cooking off against each other. Now they seem to be helping each other. 
Right, so what's going on over here, you two? Duncan and I have never actually used a conveyor belt before, so we're at the point we're basically just cooking these pizzas together. Whose is this? Mine. How's the base? The base needs to be darker, Scotty. Let's whack it up almost like a pizza oven and see what happens. 15 minutes to go! This is a bit stressful. I don't really know what to do. How is it? It's still not cooked. Nah. It's gone in from us uh, against each other to us in it together. It seems like both Laura and Duncan are really struggling with the conveyor ovens. I've just raised the temperature up ever so slightly and just slowed down the, the belts. I'm just waiting for it to come out so I can check the bottom. I'm pretty happy with that. It's really good. Let's see, it looks like a real pizza now. Great. I love the smell of fresh pizza. That means there's one, one minute, minute to go. go. I reckon it's good. That's perfect. Yeah. That, that looks like a Domino's pizza. Your pepperoni, guys. Laura Duncan, what an amazing job. It's no easy feat to replicate a Domino's pizza, and the judges were really impressed at the skill that you've shown. Laura, with the base, the judges were looking for that light, fluffy texture with a little bit of chew, which you gave them. They also liked your sauce. But that signature cheesy pull in the crust, yours fell a little bit short. Duncan, the judges loved your cheesy pull when you break open that crust. That's good. But it was obvious your dough had not been given the correct time to prove. Now we have a decision. And that chef will go straight through to the semi-finals for the grand final cook-off to decide who will be the Snack Masters champion. Chefs, let's get the judges' decision. Ho, can you do the honours? Always. The winner of the Domino's Cheesy Crust Loaded Pepperoni Challenge is... Finals. I have been waiting for this day. No more silver trophies for Loz. <laughs> oh, thank God. Hey, Dunkey, how are you feeling? That was pretty difficult, but I'm so glad to lose to Laura. Like, it's you're going to absolutely smash the competition. Can't let Adelaide down. It's true. It is true. The pressure is now on there. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, do you reckon you can win the grand final? Yeah, I, uh, I'm confident. Let's go. Let's do it.